on guys it's your boy Seso here bring guys yet another video here today bring guys a cool after effects video how to create your own motion design like interactive cool like website promo kind of i don't know what my title is however yet but i know you guys know what i'm talking about uh you probably guys saw the preview or something like that but here's a cool little thing like i don't know making your website like promotion or just a simple little advertisement like a little more fun right a little more attractive a little more cool production value like this right here I was like I was I was really hype like if you guys know last week I did my my equalizer video right my equalizer video had like you know like I, I was like yo check out my cell phone or whatever and it just had like a basic like you know just like me scrolling through my cell phone it was boring if I only knew how to do stuff like this I was learning I just didn't have the time because I was editing the video really quickly um totally would have done this it's just a little more fun right it's a lot more attractive for people to you know visit your site when you make it fun and cool like this with like epic music or something like that it would look a lot better and i want to show you guys how to actually do that it's very simple to do actually it's just using like keyframes and cameras basically and uh so yeah i want to show you guys how to do this and of course if you guys don't remember 200 likes on the video equals a secret down below which will most likely be the ai file of this video i mean ae jesus ae file of this video it's just like when i just say a the i just follows all right so let's go ahead and get this thing going now i'm gonna go ahead and make a new composition now yes i am in a 1280 by 720 composition now this is only and let me say only because my clips that are 1080p for some pre, uh, for some like reason when I was like you know previously recording and doing my render uh, RAM preview my like actual preview was just like glitching it was very weird so I just downscaled and fixed the problem so that's the only reason why I'm using that so if it was up to me and of course when you're doing it for like a client or for your own needs use 1920 by 1080 uh, width and height that way you actually get the 1080p quality so it's not weird you zoom in and stuff like that so that is the only reason why I'm using a 720p um like quality thing so i'm gonna go ahead and just drag in this little thing actual uh so basically as you can see this is the actual clip the first clip that i use in the actual i don't why am i saying actual so much uh the little cool little like edit here right so that's what i actually had here um i said actually not actual okay uh, <laughs> that is what i had here and this, this is kind of what i had my last week i was like you know checking myself i just had me scrolling through this is fine or whatever but if you want to make it look cool make your production value look a lot more like fun I feel like this would be so much cooler. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So yes, this is the first clip that we're using, and I'm gonna show you guys how to actually, you know, at least get the basics of the keyframe with the camera to make it look cool. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is make sure that you have your 3D layer selected. Now, if you're asking me how do you do that, you simply just go to where it says toggle switches and, uh, switches and modes. You wanna click that, you see if I click this, it goes between track map and it goes between these four options here. If you can make a guess, this 3D layer right here is your 3D option layer. So you wanna uh, make sure you select this box, that way you know that this is actually 3D selected, and now you wanna use your camera, and if you change your point of interest and stuff like that, you will, you will actually be able to move it. If you do not have this layer selected, I promise you, you're gonna be frustrated, and you'll be like, yo, what is going on? Sesso dislike, because you didn't actually follow the directions. Make sure you select this, that way when you use your camera, which is we're gonna throw in right now, right click, new, camera i'm gonna simply just use a uh custom preset just like so drag this below my uh my little clip here now when i do parent this this is a little, this little squiggly line here click that and then parent is going to see this little black line you want to basically attach this to the first clip just like so and then like i said before when i just move my point of interest around really quickly right if i don't have this selected it's not going to move so make sure you move it you take that dislike back you jerk because you didn't follow directions make sure you click that and that way this will actually move when you want it to move now as you guys saw we edited our clip or we put our clip in put a 3d layer on took a camera made sure we parented the camera to the actual clip and now if we move the point of interest and the position it will actually move the actual dude the word actual right now is just like flying out of my mouth okay uh, it's gonna move uh the clip i almost said actual okay it's, it's, a, it's a fun it's like really sunny outside i'm very like like happy right now so excuse my over my over like weirdness going on i don't really know what's going on but as you can see i'm just moving around i'm just like showing you guys what you can do orientation stuff like that is what you can change as well to kind of like i don't know make it do weird stuff like this if you guys are down for doing stuff like that you can move the x-axis y-axis z-axis fun stuff so you can basically get whatever kind of position that you want uh whatever flying position whatever position that you would like what you have in mind you'll be able to do so for me i was gonna do something very basic just to show you guys the actual concept so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is i'm gonna find uh, just like kind of find a cool like angle 
um, that I want to start my actual little promo thing in. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe zoom in a little bit. Maybe like, let's just uh, figure this out. Something like this isn't terrible. We can start here. So if I want to say this is what I kind of want to start my my point of interest, how I want to how I want to perceive my website, my promo. This is where I want to start. So if you want to start here, make sure you select your keyframes when you want to start. Whatever you change, make sure you you can keyframe the entire thing if you guys want to. Even if you didn't change it, so just in case you actually do end up changing it, it will follow that motion. So in the beginning of your timeline, of course, change your uh, make sure you keyframe all your keyframes. And you want to go ahead and just move up. I'll say around like five seconds where the stuff starts moving is where I want to change my point of interest so it does something a little different. Let's just say it, it like, um, let's go ahead and reset like the orientation here to be like straight 360, right? And I'll make this, uh, do something like this or zoom it in. You can, you can see that I'm just like experimenting. I have no real um like how would you say like no real vision right now i'm just kind of like showing you guys uh we're just gonna zoom it in like really close let's just do something crazy like that right so if i do that you can see the it makes a keyframe for me as you can see the three things that i changed it will make the keyframe for me as i did already keyframe in the beginning so if i go ahead and show you guys it just kind of zooms in and it'll start scrolling down be all cool and stuff like that so yeah that's pretty cool right of course but now if we want to make the transition a little cooler uh, just to make it a little more smoother or very more like a little more attractive if you guys already know from my last video my last like what like three weeks ago my other intro video where I show you guys easy ease that way you actually make your transition like like look a little more prettier right so I, I'm just gonna render it out really quickly yes I'm using full render that's why it's loading a little bit too slow however when I do render this out you'll be able to see that the transition is very basic it's a very basic point a to point B transition you know what you would kind of imagine however with easy ease using that feature will make it look a little more cool a little more attractive a little more satisfying for people who are of course viewing it or for your Yourself as well that is editing it so if I just quickly previewed it just like I did you can see this is it in real time what's happening right so it's, it's taking a little bit it's very slow very tedious looking and um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select these three layers that I changed these three keyframes that I that I changed select all three from from uh, point A to point B right click on one of the keyframes go to keyframe assistant and then go to easy ease this is what I was talking about before when you go to this little graph editor right here click on that you'll see these three different uh, Basically, your three different po point of interest is you'll see this orange one matches up with this orange point of interest, meaning your point of interest is like your angle that I have tilted. Your position, of course, is up, down, left, right kind of thing. Orientation is also up, down, left, right. I don't know what the difference between these two are actually, but you guys saw when I was editing it and fixing it around. So that is, it's all color coded for you guys so you won't get lost or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and just select this first one here, which is the position. And I'm just going to take my little yellow dots here. You can see these little yellow extended uh, anchor points, uh, just points for sure, for short. Um... We're gonna drag these in so you can see basically what these arches are is basically the speed of how fast it's gonna be from point A to point B. So if I move these in, it'll be a lot more faster. So it'll be a lot more fluid, a lot more like more satisfying. Like you'll know, you'll know, okay? You'll I promise you'll know. I'm just gonna kind of like mess around with that one a little bit, and then this last one we'll just just bring these in a little bit. So if you guys remember before the uh, how it how it was just very tedious looking, very slow, almost the transition. When you actually see it now with the Easy Ease equipped, it, it'll be a lot more like smoother. It'll look a little more better and it'll, it'll be very, a lot more satisfying. Very, a lot more satisfying. Yep. Words. Um. So yeah, just see it right now. I'm going to go ahead and just preview it now. You can see it just kind of comes in a little bit differently. Slowly comes. It just looks a little more attractive. Yes, my keyframes, by the way, are at five seconds. So if I just move this in maybe a little bit to like not five seconds let's just say one second so it's not completely like terrible you'll see the transition looks a lot more smoother um so i'm gonna go ahead and just render it out again right you can see how that looks a little more smoother you can't deny that it doesn't it's a very weird by the way it's a very weird jump that i have going on here i'm just trying to get the point across to you guys however i do know it's a very weird like jump um but i'm okay with that and actually what we could do is even shorten this clip down a little bit and start it at a different time. Let's just start it where it's like, just starts to go down when I go actually start, you know, doing this. So let's just, maybe like right here. 
can start like right there. So it starts going down and then the start like immediately the actual website will start to scroll down. Yep, that works for me. So basically if you have stuff like this done, you're you're pretty much you probably get the concept of what you want to do now. So if you guys want to use two different clips like I have already, or if you want to, let's just say if you have one clip that has two different point of interest that you want to start with. Um, what you can basically do is you can uh, split the actual layer. If you want to do that, it's Control Shift D. However, if I press Control Shift D, my Camtasia is gonna tell me to you know highlight things, but I don't want to do that. So I'm gonna not press Control Shift D. What I'm gonna have to do is go to Edit uh, Split Layer, just like so, and that way you'll see when you split a layer, it basically makes a duplicate of the layer, but basically blacks out one half you know of each which one like you, that you split right. So if I split right here like I just did, it will basically have two different clips and then one will have you know uh the rest of it will be just deleted and the other part will still be there however like i said if you want two different point of interest uh you want to make sure that your camera let's just say if you want to start your second clip right here right with a different position different like whatever so it can kind of like you know switch to a different position and then switch to the other clip or something like that if you want to do that make sure that you take your camera you take your camera and you drag this thing all the way back to where you want to you know start a different you know transition so right here as you can see it's no longer there and there's no longer that camera tilt nothing like that's going on because of course you changed it so that your camera is no longer you know all the way in here so you will run into that problem even if you throw in another clip that also has a 3d layer selected like i'm about to do right now so i'm just gonna do that really quickly because i don't have two different clips in one clip i have two actual clips just like so and we're gonna put that here and if I have this on 3D uh, layer, as you can see, if I put this on a 3D layer, which you're going to have to do every time you either do a clip, your text, or whatever you want to do to make 3D to make it move around, when you click that, your camera will be adjusted and it will fixate on this actual, the secondary clip that you want to do. So if you want to make sure that doesn't happen to you, just make sure you just take your camera and throw it all the way back down to where it wanna matches up to where the clip that you wanted it to be that little angle at so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make a new camera right uh make sure that's on custom and i'm just gonna basically drag this one parent this one to the second clip that i had that way this clip will be what i want what it will be a different position that i want so i can just change this camera now transform point of interest we'll keyframe those things and we'll just like zoom it in in a second like something like right here Let's move the orientation so it gets rid of that little space up there. And then basically, through the entire thing, we'll make sure that this gets pointed to, like, the, the buy now button. It's going to probably take me a little bit to get there, but it, I'll get there. Give me a quick second. Uh, let's just... Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's, like, try to fixate this so it's a little more up here. So let's just try and do that. I'm gonna quickly just go ahead and do that. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit because I know it's gonna take me forever because I don't know exactly what I'm doing with the orientations. However, I'll fix it and make sure it gets to where I wanna get it to. All right, that works for me. So I basically kind of like, just like kind of fixated. So it kind of starts zooming out or it's zoomed in really like close and it's gonna start zooming out. And then like right at the end, it'll start like, it'll be at a stationary position where I just press buy now, which is pretty cool for me. And I'll basically just say right here, it can just cut off if I want to. So I'm gonna just quickly split that layer and then delete the rest of that because I don't need the rest of that part. And this is perfect for me. And then this works. And so really quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, go ahead and uh, easy, easy these keyframes. Just like so, I'm gonna have multiple little things here. Let's just go ahead and just make it very basic. Push in, push in. Just like so. Be a little more attractive, right? And then basically you can see what's going on here. So it's a very cool, I don't know why I keep saying the word attractive, but it's a lot more, it feels a lot better than just having a stationary boring kind of like, like just stale it's just very stale if I, I feel like once i learn how to do this kind of stuff i'm not gonna do anything else because it's very cool for promos and websites stuff like that for for people who want to do things that have to do about like either just promoting something like like i'm promoting my everything pack in this clip so what i wanted to quickly show you guys is like the last little parts that i did for the actual transition so for this one here i have of course this little black screen coming in and then also have this white uh uh text that actually has a see-through text of my what i wanted to say right 
and at the end the black screen comes back in so what i want to show you guys really quickly first is the actual text thing so the way i did that was i made a new solid i mean of course i off off white solid right just like so press ok when you have your off white solid you then want to go ahead and right click new uh text and then we're going to type in selfie.com slash social hq i don't believe it matters what color you have because you're gonna make it transparent anyway so if i want to i'm gonna put the grid on really quickly right here this little grid throw this on that way i can kind of fixate where the middle is uh just because i don't know how to change if someone wants to tell me i don't really know oh it's right here so if i just click on that i don't need this grid anymore if i just click so it's in the middle the actual little point this little thing right here this little like uh what do you call this thing like this little thing like it looks what is that thing like an aim crosshair it's like a little crosshair here Put that in the middle that way you can right click on this go to trans uh form and then go to center in view just like so it'll center it for you guys that way you know exactly where the center is all that cool stuff now what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to make sure i toggle my switches and modes one more time and it gives me the track map this is the other option i was talking about that we probably had previously but i switched it to they had these four options so that we can turn on 3d so you want to click this again or it says track map you want to take your solid make sure your text is over your solid you want to take your solid here, go over says track mat none, and change it to alpha inverted mat. Uh, so switch HQ, this is the layer for the, what's above it, just like so, and it'll make it transparent, and that way we'll get this transparent text and whatever's going on, uh, going on behind it, which is everything below the actual text or this little solid here, will be see through. So what I did was I'm gonna quickly click on the white solid, press T on your keyboard, it brings up the opacity options, and we're gonna fill this down all the way to zero just for now. So I'm gonna to say to myself, where do I want my text to come in? I'll say I want my text to come in like right where this transition is gonna start so it's not like a very awkward jump. So I'll go ahead and say, I'm gonna keyframe this at zero. I'm gonna move this up so right before this jump happens, I'll have this at 100 opacity. So basically this is how the, it's, it's gonna work. It's gonna show, of course, when it's at 100 opacity, it's gonna be at zero, it's gonna not show. So basically you're gonna see it, it's gonna start coming in, fading in, fading in, fading in. Now it's gonna be in, right? just like so and then you if you want to make it fade of course back out click a keyframe one more time over here and then go a little more forward and then bring it back down to zero so you're going to see this it's going to go ahead and fade in just like so you can see whatever whatever it wants to say it'll say right it'll have for however long you want it to say it so right now it's at like four seconds to around uh like five and a half seconds so that's how long it's going to stay the text and of course going to fade back out and we're going to see where it clicks on the everything pack for life and then it say buy now, just like so at the end of the actual clip. So that's pretty cool. It's a little cool little thing you can do as well. Now, the thing what I did with the black solid for the thing that basically, you know, come in and come out, that little thing right there. Basically, what I did was I made, of course, a black solid, just like so. Whatever color you want to make it, you can make it whatever color. Press OK. And then the thing that I used was, of course, an effect. So I'm going to go under effects, go to transition, and then go to linear white. Now with this, of course, one uh, when it's at zero percent, the transition completion right here. I'm gonna key from that right now, just so I can show you guys. In the beginning, uh, this right here, it, when it's at zero, that means it's at full. Of course, the, when the transition starts to get completed, of course, 100 is completed. That's when you'll be able to see everything once again. So, of course, you want to start your you want to start your transition at zero, right? I'm gonna click on this solid, press U to bring up my keyframe, which is right here with the transition completion. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go up to around like half a second. And I'll put this back to 100% opacity, or not opacity, however, the 100% uh, transition completion. And I'm gonna change my angle also so it can actually come in a different angle, just like so, right? And you can see it's just gonna come in very simply. Now, if you didn't understand what Easy Ease was doing, this is a pretty good like way to see it. So if you can see this, like the little black screen that comes through is a very simple point A to B, but I can make this a little more cooler just by putting an Easy Ease on it really quickly. Go ahead and just uh, click on this little. Oh God, click on this little keyframe, easy ease, and we'll throw, we're gonna zoom this in a little bit. And oops, and we're gonna, oh God, let's make sure we click that tool. And then we're gonna throw these in like so, that way it'll come in a little faster and look a little more cooler. Right, you can see it, it kinda has that really nice motion feel to it, right? It's like, phew, right? It just looks cool. I don't know what the sound effect was, but it works. So basically that's how you get the little cool little black thing to come in in the beginning, the little black screen now to do it at the end is the same exact kind of thing so basically what you want to do is you want to keyframe it when it's at 100 percent so let's go ahead and go to where we want to end it let's just say right here you want to have it at 100 percent so i'm gonna make sure i keyframe this 
and we're just gonna keyframe two things at 100 percent so i'm gonna say right where it says buy now keyframe at 100 percent so this is where it's still you'll still be able to see everything but at the end of this i'm gonna put this at zero and just like so that way you'll see i think i actually actually missed the actual keyframe so let's go ahead and fix that there we go and then move this in so you'll be able to see that it, oh let's just move it a little more closer right before it ends oh it's not at zero is it no it's at nine put that at zero there we go so you can see now just basically come in and then it'll right just fade right out so it's a pretty cool little thing to do and that's pretty much it like i tried my hardest to explain like you guys already know i'm only around like two months in like learning after effects but what i like to do is kind of figure something out and then show it to you guys because i feel like it's a really cool way to like learn if you like show like basic people in a program like showing other basic people how to do something like you know it, it makes more sense to for me to show you guys like along the way because it's really fun for me for one and of course you can just basically learn alongside with me so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video i know this is going to be used a lot probably for like 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 i said promos and stuff like that which i know they'll be used for because it's a really cool little way of showing things off like as a website or a product or or a previous video or something like that you guys you guys have your imaginations you guys know what you want to do if you click on this video, you're like, I, I think I know what I want to do. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Do not forget to leave a like. Do not forget to follow me on Twitter at SysWayHQ. Do not forget to uh, freaking subscribe. Uh, really quickly, thank you guys so much for the subscribe. Like, you guys have been subscribing a lot. That was my phone. That was not your phone. Um, You guys have been getting like 50 to 60 subscribers a day. It's like ridiculous. I don't know where you guys are coming from. I, I'm incredibly grateful. Thank you guys so freaking much. And I'll talk to you guys later. Ciso HQ out. Don't forget to keep smiling. Stay positive and stay productive, guys. Please enjoy your week. Please enjoy your day. Please enjoy your life. Talk to you guys next week. Ciso HQ out. Peace.